functions are objects. Functions are objects in JavaScript. Functions are objects in C Sharp in Java. We've established this already. I'm sure you guys already know. But the important thing to know is that because they are objects, we can type them. We can put nice little labels on all our functions and declare types. And we've already done this with our params. We typed what we could pass into our React components, which are functions. But we can also type other things. We can type the entire function. We can put a nice little label around the actual function before we even run it that declares what type of function it is. And we can also type the return. So once the function actually executes, we can actually type what we expect to get back. That's a lot of typing. But thankfully for us, React provides all the types for us. And vast majority of the time, you can use these predetermined types to do all of the typing for your functions. And this is going to be the type for the actual function itself. And this is going to be the return type. Let's just say hypothetically for our card, where would we actually put these? We've already typed our param, so I'm not actually even going to talk much about how we're going to type params anymore because we've already done that. But how would you type the actual entire function? What you would do is you would put a colon right here and you would put react fc just like this. And you can also pass in your props right here too. So not only can you get type checking within the actual parentheses for your params, but you can also do type checking in this thing called a generic. You don't need to know what generics are right now, but just realize that you can also do the props or you can also do the function param type checking within this generic. Within these little alligator brackets, you can actually type what you would pass into the params. But it doesn't stop there. We can also specify the return type. We can also pass in the return type to the right of the params, just like this. You can pass it in, and this governs what is going to be returned right here. So React FC props is pretty much a type on the entire function. And the JSX element is going to govern what is going to be returned when you actually run the function. So in essence, the React FC is going to govern the actual function itself and JSX element is going to govern the return type. And this is going to be very easy to actually implement. So let's go ahead and jump into VS Code and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead inside of here and let's do a little bit of typing. So first thing we're gonna do, let's type the whole entire function. The way that we do that is just like we did on the whiteboard. We type in React FC. We have a couple little alligator brackets right here. Go ahead, toss in our props. And that is also going to provide us with type checking for this. Just like here, this is equivalent to this part right here. These, these alligator brackets are going to provide us with type checking for our params as well too. So in theory, we don't even really need this right here, but we're just going to go ahead and add it because we are super official and we want everything typed to the T. But also can't forget our return type. What we're going to do is we're going to pass it in to the return type area right here. So we're gonna go return type and that's pretty much all that you need to do. So let's go ahead, let's go back down to our card list right here and let's do the exact same thing. I'm gonna go into here, I'm gonna type in react.fc, alligator brackets, go ahead, toss in the props. And then over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to provide the return type and that return type is going to be the jsx.element right here. There's many ways that you can do this, but the most common way and the way that I see most utilized in other projects is just to have the React FC. At one time, there was a controversy, controversy about how the props were actually passed or how it did the prop type checking, but a lot of that has already been corrected and most people these days are just going to use React FC. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.